Ah, the the wedge um, leading edge stuff continues. I don't think people pay enough ten attention really uh, when they buy a wedge. I obviously picked these wedges up second hand. They are well, this is a sixty. It's twelve degree bounce. Pure strike golf. CNN milled. Very soft. Uh, you see that there. Uh, they've got the milled face, but look at the leading edge on that. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do to it. Uh, hopefully, I can balance that. Uh, yeah, that'll work. So, if we take this classic from uh, Peter Thompson, immediately you can probably see that the leading edge is straighter than the pure spin. And if you look at the leading edge on that, Where this wedge and the set of wedges has been annoying me, and I'll show you it here, is this part here. So what we're going to do is remove this part. So, that part there will get filed, and this part here will get filed, so that you can see there, we will end up with, that part will get blended in. So what will happen here is, that black line is going to be filed away, i.e. that extreme roundedness. It's going to be a flatter, straighter leading edge. Now, what's important about doing this, and why I like to use a file rather than a grinder, and you know I've got a bench grinder, you can see the difference that's made. You can now see how the leading edge will look on that. It's all to do with how you see your short game. We haven't adjusted the bounce. The bounce on the club is here. And this is where these wedges are good. They have a C grind uh, sole. So, C grind is there. The bounce is here. It's 12 degrees, it's quite a lot. But when we grind that, file it back, we must remember to over file this way so that we round the leading edge as well as remove the leading edge so that effectively the leading edge will become it will become straight but will have like a rounded finish on it like this part here now when you're blending this in you will have to file off the heel and the toe area so that the line blends. But the difference this makes is amazing on turf interaction and it stops the leading edge digging in. But it still gives you the full bounce. So basically yeah, it helps your sh short game opening up the club as well. You can see how that will lie now. The you are technically moving the leading edge back a bit. Um, it's unusual to have to do this on modern wedges, but for some reason, in the CNN milling process or whatever they did, they just left too much on that because you can see how much that looks. If you focus that on that and ignore the black and look at what it will look like after I've finished it, it makes all the difference for your wedge play and it's a simple little fix. A metal file is all you need. As you go, 
you round the edge so that you're not having like, I don't know if you can really see that on there, but you don't want like a sharp, sharp leading edge. So, hope this has, let's just mark it up with Sharpie first so that you know exactly what you're removing. And it does seem like quite a lot, but you're taking it off at an angle, remember, so it's not that much. Thanks for watching, Bendy Thumb Love as always, and remember, your short game saves how many shots around, so you've got to be happy with the turf interaction, bounce, and the whole look of your wedges. Okay, so we saw the uh, before, and now this is the after. The edge is just smoothed off there, you can see that, and rounded. And now, straight leading edge, compared to what it was. Still got a little bit on it, um, I've not shaved it completely off yet, I've, I'm going to wait to uh, see how it interacts on full shots. Short shots, absolutely fine. Still got the 12 degree bounce. Heel still could go uh, deeper there, but I've left it. See what it's going to be like. I think I'll have to go deeper there. Toe, pretty good. So, major lead difference, though. All achieved with just a file, just one of these. You don't need any fans. I mean, I've got the the uh, thing, but I just use that. It's a lot less destructive than the uh, uh, the grinder, and it's hand done, and the hand finish. I think you'll agree. Even though they're blackened out wedges, the sole's always going to go. So remember, it's a case of. When you're filing it, as you're reducing it, your final file is a rounded manoeuvre so that you round it as well as flatten it. You could achieve this on a grinder. It's a lot more satisfying using a hand file.